we're starting this Becky the Bus vlog off at home because it is Friday. I just got off work before Cohen for the first time. And usually if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Cohen's the one that usually packs our bags and like gets to pick out what I wear and everything like that. It's funny, I love it. However, I get to pack today and I'm excited. But before we do that, I love the weekend because this is the time that I do my deep conditioning treatment. And I use the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. It is a leave-in conditioner and I leave that bitch in all weekend. And then we'll pack and I'll kind of show you guys what we pack for Becky. As of today, we are like 28 days away from moving into the bus. And I have to clarify. So I think my countdown on Instagram one is already behind, but our countdown on Instagram for my like daily reels that I'm posting, that countdown is going until April 10th. Like that's the date that we're counting down towards because that is when our lease is up. So I think technically 33 days as of today until April 10th. However, we kind of have a mini countdown going on because the bus is coming up here before then. And that's what's happening in 28 days instead of 33 or whatever it was. Hi, kitty. Oh my goodness. We're driving the bus up here on April 5th because of course we want to have a few days to move everything over before at least it's just like up on the 10th, you know? So we'll have like five days to walk everything down the stairs and into the bus and then clean this apartment before we have to turn in the keys on the 10th. So two kind of countdowns going on. The one on Instagram is until the 10th. The one in my head is like the day that we're driving the bus up here which is 28 days and I'm so excited. This weekend is gonna be jam packed because obviously we've been in crunch time, but it is crunch time. I also haven't been to the bus in like three weekends, I think it is. As far as order of videos, you guys just probably watched a week in my life vlog and I was down there and I gave you guys like a sneak peek of what the inside of the bus looked like. So much has happened since that sneak peek that even you guys got that I haven't even seen yet. So whew, this weekend is gonna be wild. Also, Hot Girls Read. My bookish samples are in. I had to wear her. She's adorable. Will be launching soon on my website. I don't have a date picked out yet. I will let you guys know as soon as I know. There will be other colors and stuff as well. But this is the one that I wanted as my sample. And then I have another one that's in a video. It's like the purple hoodie if you guys have been paying attention. Me and my tiny slick back bun. I'm starting to get a pimple right here. And I'm tempted to put on one of my little star faces, but I use them a few times now and I don't know if they really work. I wasn't sure. I was like, let me try them. You guys also said that they weren't the best and like the mighty patch I think is what it's called is better. But I already bought this giant case of them with like 72,000 pages of them. That's my own fault. But now I'm like, I feel like I should use them before I waste them. Maybe they are working and then I just feel like they're not working because so many people said they don't work, you know, like the reverse placebo. <laughs> okay, let's pack the bag. Okay, off. Good girl, Freya, Bella. Good girl. I guess I should say bags because there's multiples. Of course, we have my bag and Cohen's bag. Let's start with him. Saturday, we have a 90% chance of rain, high 57. Sunday, cloudy, no rain, high 42. So we're dressing kind of warm. We're gonna bring three outfits. I don't like to overpack per se, but I just like to be prepared. We have gone into the rhythm of wearing the same thing when we go down, obviously, because once it's started to get paint on it or whatever, like you might as well keep it as bus clothes. Three long sleeves, two shirts for pajamas. We're gonna bring one short sleeve just in case a hoodie and a second hoodie. Except I'm gonna leave this one out. He can wear that in the car and wear it this weekend. Boxers and socks and a pair of shorts to sleep in. Cohen's clothes are done. My turn. I just picked up these new dog treats yesterday at the pet store to take down to the bus with us. So let's see if the dogs like them. Oh, I don't Thank you. Spin. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Oh. Thank you. I don't Thank you. Hey. Spin. Good girl. Good girl, Freya. Yes, good girl. 
Isabella. Naya. Yeah. See, give me paw. Good girl. Eco. Oh yeah. Looks like they like them. Dogs are packed. Cohen just got home. We were about to leave, but we had two Amazon packages waiting for us. This is the bus, like the bus bars. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, it smells so good too. <laughs> Well, look at that. Oh, the wires. Like those are solar wires. Yeah. Heck yeah. We also got all of this stuff. We just piled it all into one box, but this is a part of the haul, which I'm assuming I think is up before this video. So we have a giant Becky the Bus, like solar water stuff, fun stuff haul that you should go and watch, right, Bella? Yeah, tell them. Yeah. We're loaded, we're packed. In case you haven't seen the reel that I posted on Instagram, I guess around this topic, but I'm getting sick and tired of hacking everything up and going back and forth, to be honest. Like after, you know, almost two years of this, like I'm ready for all of our stuff to be in one place. And I already talked about how there's kind of like two different countdowns happening right now. So we have technically four weekends left because on the fifth weekend, we're driving down and then driving the bus back up. Four more times of packing our lives up every weekend to drive two hours to Becky and then two hours back and getting all the dogs in here and like, ugh. And I also shared this on Instagram, but like the weekends that I don't go, it's also hard because we have to decide like which dogs go, which dogs stay. And it's a lot having like, you know, your life split in half. And I'm excited for our lives to be like holy again and all in one spot and all together and all the things that we love including our dogs and each other like just together all the time rather than Cohen having to go and work on the bus some weekends by himself and then I'm at home by myself working like it's obviously one of the many sacrifices that we've made to make this lifestyle happen or like obviously that we've been working towards making this happen so it's well worth it but I'm just gonna be so happy when it's over I don't want to sound like I'm complaining at all because obviously we're in a place of privilege to be able to do this to be able to build out a school bus like to follow our dream of sorts in this regard so I understand that but I'm just excited for this season of life to be over I will cheers my Celsius to that but I think today I'm gonna do some editing while we drive. But I posted a picture on Instagram of me like editing in the car and I got so many DMs. They were like, how are you doing that girl? Like I get car sick. I didn't know that that many people get car sick, I guess. I felt like the oddball out that I don't get car sick. <laughs> so like I can edit, I can read, I can do whatever I want as the passenger. I didn't realize that so many of you guys get car sick. So I'm sorry for you. We're going to Becky. You get to see everything again. Late night slows trip. <laughs> we needed one of these. Elbow pack a four and one single. Check. Check. Oh, Cohen, you let me walk in here with this on my face. Yeah, why? Okay, well, now we're gonna brace it. Embrace it, baby. <laughs> Cohen made our whole list last night while I was sleeping of what we needed because I was like, we need to be efficient this weekend. We got four more trips. We already got the first thing. We needed more caulking. We need two more boxes of flooring to finish some of the things that we need to finish. We finished like most of the main flooring, but we want to cover the whole under the bed area with flooring, especially the dogs area. And we didn't have enough to finish. Like there's like a little tiny part by the stairs up front. So more flooring. I'm so excited to do Kitty's area in the bus. This is for some of Kitty's area because we're gonna have the little, I teased it on my Instagram, but a little drop down ramp for her. Kitty's gonna love it. More things for Kitty, a piece of wood. <laughs> and it's physically impossible for me to go shopping without picking up something fun and cute now. So I got this little guy to hold on to Kitty's key, which I will show you why Kitty has a key. And then we got this key ring locker to hold all of our other keys for like our storage compartments outside. We're gonna have obviously like shore power, water inlets, all the things that get locked on the outside, batteries, I don't know. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cool. We have so many freaking reveals. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Just... What do you think? This is comfy. Yeah. They look good. They look so good. And the drawer pulls. How are the cabinets so dirty? Because we're in a construction zone. <laughs> oh, in the sink! <laughs> I forgot that I wasn't here for this last time. Baby. What? I'm gonna die. Come on in! <laughs> it's your home. I'm not gonna just walk in your door. The bus looks so wild. Insane. We did just jump immediately into working again. So we have these chairs pulled back. We need to finish some of the flooring. We bought two boxes of flooring last night. There's been this tiny little piece here along the side wall like where our chairs are going to be that we have to fill in before we can like screw in and install the seats permanently. So Cohen and Zach are in there cutting that 
And then we have like a tiny piece that we never got to finish because it was just like an end piece. We want to finish this little triangle. And we already finished. I can't lift it up because the light's on here. But underneath the dog den, we just filled in with the flooring. Now it flows into here, which is going to be beautiful. Cohen also installed our track lighting, which you guys saw in the hall. We haven't put the lights in yet, but a track's on this piece of wood and then another track's gonna go on this piece of wood. So we'll have kind of like runway lighting through the hallway of the bus. And it goes all the way back. So we'll also have like the overhead lights in the bedroom. And then this is the sconce that I showed you guys in the hall, which I'm also very excited to install. I don't know when we'll do that. Cause of course that's not like a top priority right now. And our lock, you guys saw Cohen use the lock to come in here. Wild. We installed our shower fan. So this will turn on and vent while we're showering. This is like the top piece to it. Obviously you're not gonna like see all that, but you'll have the light in the shower as well. The drawer pulls look amazing. It's just that everything looks amazing and it's so exciting. So we'll see how much we get done today in terms of work. Zach, our brother-in-law is in town with Brittany, Cohen's sister. He's out here helping us and obviously the Cohen's dad's here. And then me and Cohen, like this is like weekend of four people. So I just feel like we can get so much done with four people where usually it's just Cohen and his dad so fingers crossed we get a lot done oh i also forgot to show you obviously it's not installed yet but this is our backup camera which we have on a little button which obviously we're redoing all this so ignore it but we can turn on this button and we have a backup camera crazy and i feel like i never got a proper chance to like freak out about this chair. I had it in a vlog that Cohen was going to pick it up on a weekend that I couldn't come, so he picked it up. They built this like platform for it, so obviously it's like at the right height that it needs to be. Obviously it's not pretty, but it's functional and that's all that matters, of course. We're gonna get like, you know, just a normal seat cover, make it look prettier, but we have a driver's seat so we can actually drive the bus now. And we needed this before we could actually like frame out the shower and like install all of that stuff, so that's so exciting. We finished this strip, filled this piece in, and then we didn't have a piece here and here, and we're finishing up this corner. And then I personally am gonna put our locks on our drawers because this is something that <laughs> I can do. Cohen's good at the cutting. I'm good at the drilling. So I'm gonna do this. Does it fit? Yeah. Hell yeah. Wow, we have a full floor. Mm -hmm. Sick. We just pulled the chairs out too. I didn't mention that because we're about to bolt them in. However, the pull out pallet part, they scrape the floor a little bit. So we need to like shave off a little bit on there. And then where's our little velvet pieces that we got? In there. So I want to put those at the bottom of these, right? And then that way when they do pull out, they're not yeah. going to scrape the wood. So we need to shave those off and then put it in which drawer? Bottom one, I think. So these guys will go underneath. Good morning. It is the next day. We're back in the bus, of course. I have a special surprise. This is Kitty's litter box. Um, I'm gonna use it as a tripod for a second. I'm working on Kitty's area. I explained this in one of my daily Instagram reel things, but Kitty's gonna have a ramp to her area that'll get her away from the dogs whenever she wants to. I'll show you in a second. I'm just not gonna like move the camera now that it's here. This is her ramp. It's a six foot long board that I'm covering with rope. So that way she can climb up and down it. Essentially, that's what I'm doing right now is staple gunning this rope to the ramp here. I'm stapling the edges, not the top, because this is where like Kitty will walk, of course, so there's gonna be no staples. Your Kitty's no paws, just on the edges, just on the sides. Cohen and his dad are in the garage. They're working on the seats. We took them out because we finished up the flooring yesterday, so we can officially like bolt them in. However, we decided let's just go ahead and actually finish the seats before we do that. So they're wood filling in a lot of the screw holes because we want that to look like polished. You don't want to see screws, of course. So we're doing wood filler. We're gonna sand them all down. Yeah! <laughs> and then we also bought our paint. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. you're gonna knock it over. Oh. We also bought the paint for the seats. Paint! <laughs> and it matches the flooring color. Matches! Oh my god. You're like ad-libbing a wrap right now. I don't even know where I was at. But we got the paint for the seats. It's gonna match the flooring. So that way, hopefully my vision is to make it look bigger in here because it'll take the flooring color like up a little bit rather than it being such a contrast of like mint, brown, orange, some other color, and you feel like this boxed in feeling. They're inside working on that. That's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> I'm working on Kitty's little ramp, and then I'll show you more once I get this kind of like stapled in. Because Kitty has to have her space done before we move in. That is a need, okay? The dogs don't give a fuck. They'll sleep in the dirt, but Kitty, <laughs> she will want her space together and looking perfect. 
Cohen might have been right and I don't want to admit it. He asked if we wanted to paint this board before I did it and I'm like, no, because I'm going to cover it so you're not going to see it, but you are, you're most definitely seeing it through like the in-betweens. I'm trying to decide if I care that much about it. Like if I paint it, then I have to wait for it to dry or is it going to be okay? Am I going to like hate it? I don't know. We're just going to go for it. I also installed the locks on the drawers yesterday. I'll have to show you guys that. Or I guess I could show you now because you can kind of see or at least see that they open. See? And then this is a little magnet. And like I've been saying, I can turn these off so that way they don't lock every single time. This little white piece is part of it and then you can't see the other half, but I just turned it on, closes. And now it doesn't open until, isn't that amazing? I'm so happy about it. Okay, back to this. I need music. I did all the rope that we have. I made it like halfway down the board. So now I'm currently contemplating if I wanna go and get more rope or not. But I did do all the staples on this side of the board. This side's gonna be facing or touching rather the windshield. So we're not gonna see this side from inside the bus. And then this side is like clean which I like. And this is the side we're gonna see from inside the bus. And Kitty's gonna love this bit. She's gonna scratch it. She's gonna be able to walk up it. I'm so excited. But the nearest city, as you guys know, is like an hour away or hour trip. Cause oh, I didn't know Cohen made that. Wow. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, the nearest city is like 20 minutes away, so it's like an hour trip to go back and forth and I'm just contemplating if I want to do it to go get more rope while they're still working on the seats. I decided that yes, we're going to make the trip. Also because the other thing that Cody and his dad is working on, they also want to finish today. And I didn't know they were going this far, I'll have to show you when I get back. But we're putting some storage in the back of one of our seats, the one that like right when you walk into the bus, it's basically going to open so we can like store stuff underneath the seat. And I thought we were just going to install the seat and like do that later, but they already like cut the hole for it and are like building the door for it, but they need hinges. So I'm like, fine. I'll go out, get rope, get hinges, come back. Not finish Kitty's area, but basically, so exciting. Marissa just got back from Lowe's. Home Depot. Home Depot. I gotta tell them the story. <laughs> and now she's about to see the cabinets. <gasps> fancy. Y'all said you were gonna get fancy. Yeah. Ooh, I like the color. Yeah. Oh. And this side, even though nobody's gonna see it. Yeah. How cutie. What do you think? I like it. Does it look good? Yeah. This is cute. Yeah. We messed up a bit right here in this corner. It's character. Yeah. But it's homemade. Yeah. Made with love. <laughs> you got different kind of rope this time? We didn't have light rope. Shit. I know. You're telling me. Hinges. Okay. I went with the cutie knob. Ew, it's cute. So are you taking that white off? No. It's just going to be ombre. Like are the outside of the bus. We're embracing it. <laughs> One very long trip to Lowe's and Home Depot later. I finished wrapping this. However, it was different rope and we're just rolling with it. We're gonna embrace the imperfections. <sighs> I ordered the white rope that we were working with at the beginning online and then we ran out so I had to go to like Home Depot. And they only had one color of rope and it's not my favorite. I don't love it, but it is what it is. It's not installed yet. I just laid it up here so you guys could get the vibe. So it'll stay tucked away up in here and then we'll be able to take a latch, let it drop here. It's gonna be on a hinge up there and then kitty could do 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 do. And then there's a big hole up here that we cut into the metal and then she's gonna pop up here and have her space up here. And like up in here is all little kitty's oasis. And I'm so excited. We do need to like line this with like a little rubber piece, of course, cause it's metal. We don't want her to like cut herself on it. I think Cohen already like sanded it, but I just want to be extra safe, of course. But this is the vibes. And I think Kitty's gonna love it. I honestly do think she'll like this rope to scratch on better than the white rope, but this looks so much cleaner, but it is what it is. 